Launched into space in December 2021, Webb has captured stunning images of the cosmos, revealing new details that we had never previously imagined. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through Webb's top four new images and explore the amazing discoveries that they've made possible. So without further ado, let's start the video. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured a stunning image of a young star that resembles our sun in its infancy. The star is called Herbig Harrow 211, and it belongs to a class of protostars that are the earliest stage of star formation. Protostars are usually hidden by the gas and dust of the molecular cloud they formed from, but Webb's infrared vision can see through the veil and reveal their secrets. The image shows the star's dark center, where it is still gathering mass from its surroundings, and a bright region around it, where jets of gas shoot out from the star's poles at supersonic speeds. The jets collide with the surrounding gas and dust, creating shockwaves that light up the colorful outflows we see in shades of blue and pink. The star is located about 1,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation Perseus. The jet in the image is one of the most collimated jets ever observed, meaning it is very narrow and focused. It may also indicate that the protostar is actually a binary system, composed of two stars orbiting each other. The outflows from young stars like this one are mostly made of molecules because the shock waves are not strong enough to break them apart into atoms and ions. A whirling protostar generates a magnetic field and a particle wind that shape its environment. When its core ignites, a new star like our sun emerges. The duration of this process varies with the protostar's mass. With its powerful infrared vision, James Webb Space Telescope has revealed a stunning view of SN 1987A, the remnant of a star located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. It is approximately 168,000 light years from Earth. Scientists believe that a blue supergiant star about 20 times the mass of the Sun exploded and caused the supernova. This new image has revealed a wealth of new detail. The image shows a central structure of inner ejecta shaped like a keyhole. This structure is packed with clumpy gas and dust ejected by the supernova explosion. The dust is so dense that even the near-infrared light that Webb can detect cannot penetrate it, creating the dark hole in the keyhole. Surrounding the inner keyhole is a bright equatorial ring. This ring is formed from material ejected tens of thousands of years before the supernova explosion. Bright hot spots in the ring appeared as the supernova's shockwave hit it. These hot spots can now be found even outside the ring, surrounded by diffuse emission. This diffuse emission is likely caused by the shockwave hitting more distant material. The Webb telescope has captured new details of a supernova that were invisible with previous telescopes. For instance, the stunning image shows a central structure of inner ejecta that looks like a keyhole, surrounded by hot spots that shine brightly in and around the equatorial ring. The outer gas layers also have small crescent-shaped structures that add to the beauty and complexity of the cosmic explosion. Scientists believe these crescents are part of the outer layers of gas that were ejected during the supernova explosion. They are very bright, which may be due to an optical phenomenon called limb brightening. This occurs when we are able to observe the expanding material in three dimensions. Spitzer's infrared vision witnessed the evolution of SN 1987A for over 16 years, but it could not match the clarity and resolution of Webb Telescope. This new image is a treasure trove of information for astronomers to study the aftermath of a supernova. James Webb Space Telescope has captured an incredible image of Herbig Harrow 4647, a pair of actively forming stars. This image provides a unique glimpse into the early stages of star formation. Herbig Harrow 4647 is only a few thousand years old, making it a relatively young star system. Stars take millions of years to fully form, so studying targets like this can help researchers learn more about how stars gather mass over time and how our own sun formed. The stars are buried deep in the center of the red diffraction spikes, appearing as an orange-white splotch. They are surrounded by a disk of gas and dust that continues to add to their mass. The two-sided orange lobes seen in the image were created by earlier ejections from these stars. Their more recent ejections appear as thread-like blue features running along the angled diffraction spike that covers the orange lobes. The delicate, semi-transparent blue cloud in the image is a nebula, a region of dense dust and gas. Webb's crisp near-infrared image lets us see through its gauzy layers, revealing much more of Herbig Harrow 4647 
at a deep range of stars and galaxies that lie far beyond it. The nebula's edges appear as a soft orange outline, like a backward L along the right and bottom. The nebula influences the shapes of the orange jets shot out by the central stars. As ejected material rams into the nebula on the lower left, the jets take on wider shapes because there is more opportunity for them to interact with molecules within the nebula. The nebula's material also causes the star's ejections to light up. Over millions of years, the stars in Herbig Harrow 4647 will fully form, clearing the scene. The background of the image is dotted with a profusion of extremely distant galaxies. Webb's composite near-infrared camera image is made up of several exposures, highlighting distant galaxies and stars. Just below those stars is an object resembling a giant cosmic question mark. This object could be a faraway galaxy, or maybe two galaxies that are merging. Their merger might have distorted their shape into a question mark. The color of the object also gives us some clues about its nature. It appears to be reddish, which means that it is very far away from us. The light from distant objects is stretched by the expansion of the universe, making them appear redder than they actually are. This effect is called redshift, and it helps us measure how far away and how fast objects are moving in the universe. Blue objects with diffraction spikes are stars, and the closer they are, the larger they appear. White and pink spiral galaxies sometimes appear larger than these stars, but are significantly farther away. The tiniest red dots, Webb's infrared specialty, are often the oldest, most distant galaxies. The iconic Ring Nebula has always been a breathtaking sight, but the James Webb Space Telescope has just captured it in an unprecedented new light. This I-shaped planetary nebula, also known as M57 or NGC 6720, is located just 2,200 light-years away in our cosmic backyard. Despite its name, the Ring Nebula has nothing to do with planets. It formed when a red giant star reached the end of its life and began to shed its outer layers of gas into the surrounding space. Over the last 50 years, scientists have confirmed that the nebula is still expanding at a rate of 20 to 30 kilometers per second. While the Ring Nebula was discovered all the way back in 1779 and has been imaged many times by telescopes like Hubble, these new images provide unprecedented detail. The first image, captured by near-infrared camera, reveals the finger-like gas inside the nebula's ring with exquisite detail. The second image, captured by mid-infrared instrument, highlights concentric features in the outer regions of the nebula. While the middle of the image might look empty, it's actually full of a lower-density material, along with the central star, which is on its way to becoming a white dwarf. From this angle, we're looking at a peephole of this lower-density material, with a shape similar to a rugby ball from the tip. The full nebula is shaped a bit like a distorted donut. These new images offer astronomers a unique opportunity to study the Ring Nebula in unprecedented detail. They reveal new insights into the nebula's structure and composition, and they may even help us to better understand the process of stellar evolution. A new study reveals that a colossal explosion may be imminent for Betelgeuse. The researchers used a novel technique to measure the star's mass and age, and found that it could go supernova much sooner than expected. How did the researchers estimate the star's remaining lifetime? What method did they use to determine the star's mass and age? If you want to learn more about how scientists reached this conclusion, watch this episode, and I will see you next time.